Namaste everyone. Welcome to this intermediate level practice that uh, also explores a few advanced asanas. This practice is not easy for me either. I'm also a work in progress, but I hope the sequence and the sharing will help you challenge your boundaries and find greater expansion in your asana practice. Uh, the sequence is well balanced. It is an energizing sequence and there's a little bit focus on back bending and balancing. So we've, uh, I've included asanas uh, that are connected to these two aspects. Uh, I wish you all the best. Enjoy your practice. Thank you. Sit down, take Ardhsadasan, left heel to the perineum, right heel touches the left ankle. Let's take the opening mantra. Aam sahana vavatu sahana ubhunaktu sahaviryam karvavahai tejasvinavadhita mastuma vidavishavahai Aam shanti 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 May our well-being be protected. May the seed of knowledge within us be nourished, may it blossom. May we work together with energy, vigor and respect. May we radiate the energy that we acquire through this practice outward into the community for peace, healing and well-being of all. May our practice be enlightening. So with that intention we begin, please place your hands on your knees, palms facing up. Let's take a few rounds of Ujjayi breathing. If you don't know Ujjayi breathing, just breathe deeper than normal. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, please take Patangasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Heels as close as you can to your groin. Interlace the fingers in front and flap your thighs. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Keep your chin parallel to the mat. Keep your eyes closed. Keep the breathing deeper than normal. Don't worry if the breath and the movement is not synchronizing. That's not necessary for Patangasana. So please stay.
get ready for Shishupalasana. So take the right sole of the foot into the left elbow, right knee into the right elbow and then keep the shin as close as you can to your chest and rock the baby so this is the rock the baby pose take the knee as far back as you can and forward keep your um, keep your attention on your nose feeling that the nose is straight pointing ahead so that uh, the movement is more in the hip and the leg and not in the upper body keep your breathing deeper than normal and just stay with that pose change sides. Now take the left leg into the rock the baby pose and take the left knee as far back as you can and forward. Keep your breathing deeper than normal. Slowly release and get ready to come up to standing. Exhale, take your hands in a namaste. Inhale, arms extend, up arms and ears connect, arch. Keep breathing deeper than normal. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up and hop back into high plank. Lower down to chaturanga, low plank. Inhale, upward dog, knees don't touch the floor. Exhale, downward dog. Now inhale, bring the left foot forward, right leg goes back, come into a lunge. Take your arms up and your hands can be in that mudra, just interlacing the fingers, pointing the index fingers on top. Lower the right thigh as close as you can to the floor and keep your breathing deeper than normal. Exhale, hands down, back to plank. Lower down to chaturanga, inhale up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Come into a lunge and arch. Come into that lunge arch. Lower the left thigh as much as you can to the floor. Right knee, right ankle, straight line. Take the chest up towards the ceiling. Keep the chest away from the navel. Push the shoulder blades into the chest as if the chest is lifting and pushing up. And exhale slowly place your hands down step back to plank lower down to low plank inhale up dog 
exhale downward dog now on an inhale raise the right leg up as high as you can keep your knee straight toes point back lower your head towards the floor as much as you can the chest is going towards the thigh stay there breathe change take the left leg up lower the head towards the floor deep breathing low now now step the right foot forward and come into warrior 1 virbhadrasana sit low right thigh parallel to the mat lift from your shoulder blades elbow straight breathe extend the arms out and change into warrior 2 then place the right forearm on the right thigh extend the left arm into a lateral stretch you can if you're comfortable you can place the right hand on the outside of the right foot come into parshvakona asana stay there breathe back foot strong deep breathing inhale back to warrior 2 and exhale and then on an inhale return to warrior 1 now now take the left hand on the left shoulder clamp the left upper arm over the right thigh adjust yourself into a parivrata parshvakonasana right arm into a lateral stretch breathe slowly inhale come up into warrior 1 and slowly lower the hands down straight on the right knee and get ready for uttanasana variation interlace the fingers behind the back and raise the left leg up as much as you can lower the head down as comfortably as you can take your arms over your head breathe keep your attention steady at one point return hands to your hips ardha chandrasana place the right hand in front of the pinky toe adjust yourself then slowly raise that left leg up keep the toes tucked left arm up you can look front or look up breathe and return to warrior 1 exhale hands down and back to plank then adjust yourself and come into vashishtasana side plank on the right side both the feet are stacked toes are tucked left arm up lift the pelvis a little bit higher and send the navel forward for stability and switch sides lift the right pelvis higher send the pelvis a little bit forward look front or look up breathe and hands down back to chaturanga inhale up dog exhale downward dog now step the left foot forward right knee down come into lunge arch arms up keep breathing take the chest towards the ceiling exhale hands down return to plank lower down to low plank inhale up dog exhale downward dog now bring the right foot forward left knee down and adjust yourself into lunge arch front knee and ankle straight line left thigh towards the mat shoulder blades pushing into the chest and lifting the chest up breathe and exhale hands down to plank lower down to low plank inhale up dog exhale downward dog raise the right leg up as high as you can lower the head towards the floor point the right foot toes now 
raise the left leg up, point the toes up, lower the head down, take the chest towards the thigh. And lower the left leg down. And slowly bring the left foot forward and inhale, come up into warrior one on the left side. Open up into warrior two. Take the left forearm on the left thigh or place the left hand on the outside of the left foot. Extend the right arm into Parshvakona Asana. Turn to warrior two, change to warrior one. Then right hand on the right shoulder, take a deep inhale on a complete exhale, right upper arm over the left thigh, left hand to the hip, then take your right hand on the outside of the left foot, extend the left arm into lateral stretch, going into Parivrata Parshvakonasana. Breathe. Send the right side of the chest forward, left side of the chest back, and then slowly release. Inhale back to warrior one. Just for a moment and adjust left knee straight. Interlace the fingers behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades, adjust the right foot, bring it a little bit forward, then lean forward and raise the right leg up as high as you can. Keep your gaze steady, take your arms over your head, breathe. And lower down. Take Ardha Chandrasana, left hand about one foot in front of the pinky toe and then slowly as you bring the left shoulder on top of the left wrist, raise the right leg up and the right arm up. Look front or look up, whatever keeps you steady. And slowly lower down, take your arms up back to warrior one. Exhale, hands down to plank. Then adjust yourself into Vashishtasana. On the right the side. left arm up. So Vashishtasana on the right side. Then back to plank and take Vashishtasana on the left side. Lift the right pelvis higher, send the navel forward, look up at the right hand. And back to plank, lower down to low plank, inhale up dog, exhale downward dog. Then inhale, left foot forward, right knee down, come up into lunge arch. Exhale. plank lower down to low plank inhale up dog exhale downward dog inhale right foot forward left knee down come into lunge arch and then slowly exhale hands down back to plank Lower down to low plank, inhale to up dog, exhale to downward dog. Then slowly bend your knees, hop forward, head up, exhale, head in, inhale. Arms extend and rise and arch. Exhale, hands by your side. Exhale, Inhale, arms extend, arch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up and exhale, hop. 
hop back to high plank. Lower down to low plank. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward dog. Inhale, bring the left leg into Kapotasana pigeon pose. Now, so the left heel is to the right pubis. Bend the right knee, hold the right ankle, draw the right heel towards the right hip. If you're comfortable, you can rotate the shoulder and take a slightly deeper position. Chest up, look up, stay there. Breathe, activating the quadricep. Now, right elbow into the left foot, left arm up. Bind the hands together if you, if you can. Otherwise, stay with the previous position. Breathe, chest open, look front. Exhale, release. Lower the hands down and take a twist in the pigeon. So right upper arm over the left right thigh. thigh, hands in a sideways. Namaste, left elbow to the ceiling. There's a tendency to roll over, so just watch for that. Breathe. And slowly release. Now take, bend the right knee again. Get the right foot into the hand. If you can, you hold the toe with the with the first two fingers and the thumb and then rotate the shoulder to bring the right elbow up use the left hand to draw the right elbow in coming into kapotasana working towards kapotasana stay there chest up look up if this is difficult just stay with the hand to the foot and release hands down and push back to downward dog Then take the right leg into Kapotasana, right heel to the left pubis, bend the left knee, take the left hand to the ankle or to the foot, rotate the shoulder if you can, having the left hand fingers pointing toward the, uh, towards your upper back, elbow points back, look up, stay there, breathe. Otherwise, simply just hold the ankle, drawing the heel towards the hip. Now, if you can, take the elbow into the foot, take the right arm up and come into a bind. Look up, chest up. This is difficult, but just see if you can explore this direction. And slowly release. Get ready for a twist in the pigeon pose. So, right upper arm over the right thigh and take your hands in a sideways. Namaste. Look up. Breathe. Deep breathing. Keep your breath steady, even. And slowly release. Hands down. And from here, try that Kapotasana. So, hook the toes with the first two fingers and the thumb. And see if you can rotate. Rotate the arm, rotate the shoulder and take the left elbow up. Then take the right hand towards the left elbow, drawing the left elbow towards your left ear chest up look up breathe and slowly release this takes work so it's all right if this is not happening right now it took me a lot of work stay in downward dog exhale push back to downward dog stay now from here Bring the left knee down, right leg forward, heel down, toes up, half Hanuman Asana. Nose to the knee, both the hips in a straight line. If you are comfortable, you can even bring the elbows down, right heel down, toes up. Breathe. From here, change to Parigrasana variation. So, Turn, turn the, the face the left wall on your left foot just behind the left knee rotate the torso right hand on the inside of the right knee left arm in a lateral stretch if you're comfortable you can even try holding the right foot toe lowering the right elbow towards the floor keep the head in line with the front foot though and then slowly release and return to that parigrasana this time point the right foot toes down many of you will be able to touch the toes down for me that does not work if you can touch the toes down then again return release return to half hanuman asana and explore full hanuman asana so keep the right knee bent and try to work the left thigh towards the floor one two just go up and down with a few breaths then slowly straighten the knee and see if you can go up and down and work towards hanuman asana 
just this is just a conditioning practice and if you can just stay there for a few breaths and then slowly release return to hands and knees and push back to downward dog stay there for a few breaths now again come down on the right knee take the left leg forward heel down toes up right knee and right hip aligned lower the head down towards the left knee into half hanuman asana breathe deep even breathing if you can lower the elbows towards the floor if you can otherwise just stay with the previous position now inhale come up and change to parigrasana so, so move the, the right foot right behind the adjust. right knee left hand on the inside of the left knee right hand to the right hip look up make sure left heel down left foot toes up then if right you can hand. left hand, right hand to, to the, the left foot left foot and coming into that lateral stretch if the body allows release return back to original position now place try to place the left foot down toes touch the floor for most of you you should be able to do this my body does not allow it and slowly release and return to half hanuman asana and now start working towards full hanuman so first keep the left knee bent and work the right thigh towards the floor just with with every exhale try to lower yourself down just a little bit you can always use blocks under your hand if you need to then slowly start straightening the left knee and again exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and then see if you can go all the way down just for a few breaths stay there and then slowly release and come down on hands and knees and push back to downward dog stay with deep even breathing now slowly step your feet forward inhale length and look up exhale head in inhale rise come up all the way up hands by your side now for parivrata utita hasta pada hasta sana left hand on the left hip ground the right foot the right hand holds the outside of the left foot extend the left leg straight now take the left arm back slowly turn the head look over the left shoulder keep that right leg strong i know this is a tough tough pose Have to balance, but see if you can explore this direction. Just and slowly release. Now for the other side, ground the left foot, left right hand on the right hip. Take the left hand on the outside of the right foot, hold it, then extend the right leg straight. Look front, then extend the right arm back. Then slowly turn your head to look as much as you can towards the right shoulder. Breathe. Keep your gaze steady and slowly release. Yeah, yes, we we may end up we we can lose balance here. Yeah? That's okay. And slowly, hands down by your side. Now, from here, we'll try Titi Basana. So, what you're going to do is take the left hand under the right thigh, right arm around your back, and bind. both hands then slowly start lifting the left leg up you can keep the knee bent and simply stay there if you're comfortable straighten the left knee and stand tall breathe keep your attention steady and slowly release lower the leg and the arms down now for the other side so keep your feet hip distance apart and bend your knees take the right arm under the right thigh and around left arm behind the back and bind your hands together and start raising the right leg up only raise the right leg up keep the knee bent first keep come straight once you've straightened the body extend the right leg straight if you can otherwise keep the knee bent and just stay with the standing exploration uh in one leg and then slowly release and come down regulate your breath now come down 
on your knees and sit down in Vajrasana. Just take a few breaths. Go Mukhasana. Take your hands in a Namaste. And then place your hands down. Take the right knee on top of the left knee coming into Gomukhasana. Then open your arms, elbows back, right hand goes back, left arm up and come into a bind. Breathe. Keep your neck straight, chin parallel to the mat. And slowly release. Again, come down on hands and knees, release and change sides. Bring the left leg on top of the right, stack the left knee on top of the right knee. Keep your heels away from your hips as much as you can. Hands in a namaste, elbows back, right elbow up, left hand down and take your bind. Go Mukhasana. Deep, even breathing. slowly release uncross your legs and prepare for shirshasana headstand so come down on hands and knees those of you who need a wall please feel free to take the ball elbows below the shoulders hold uh, the elbows with the hand to make sure that the tripod position is right place the top of the head down and come down on your toes, walk forward, knees into the chest and then slowly raise your legs up, heels into the hips, trying to bring the thighs parallel, then raise the knees towards the ceiling, then slowly straighten the knees and then straighten the legs as much as you can and stay there, breathe. Deep, even breathing. Slowly bend the knees, bring the knees into the chest and then lower down to bring the toes down. Mine was a very quick descent. It should not be this quick. There should be more control in how we come down. I should have had more control there. And just take child pose. Rest in child, regulate your breath. And then slowly come up. And from here, Take a gentle twist, right hand to the left knee. I'm sorry, left hand to the right knee, right hand behind, look over the right shoulder. Change sides, right hand to the left knee, left hand behind, look over the left shoulder. And just a few breaths there. Release any tension in the neck. Vajrasana. Just take a moment. Then again, come down on hands and knees and push back to downward dog. Step the feet forward and come into Utkatasana, chair pose. So just sit low, arms extend. And exhale, lower the hands down and sit down. And then slowly lie down, prepare for Sarvangasana series, shoulder stand. So lie down, arms by your side, feet together. Now on an inhale without bending the knees, roll up into a shoulder stand. the elbows no wider than the shoulders if you have neck issues please skip it or just use a prop blanket under the shoulder gaze at the tip of your toes 
the chest goes to the chin the chin will never come to the chest deep even breathing then bend the knees bring the feet behind your head come into plow pose interlace the fingers in front and hands down toes tucked knees straight bend the knees bring the knees towards your ears toes point back squeezing the ears gently with the knees karna padasana if this is not accessible just stay with halasana if you need to support your back do so now support your back slowly lower down and take your legs into lotus left leg first then the right leg and now get ready for uh udva padmasana so lift yourself lift the legs up place the hands on the knees so that the sensation is that the knees are coming down and your hands are pushing the legs up keeping your thighs parallel to the floor just stay there breathe now slowly pindasana lower that lotus position down bringing your knees towards the floor and bind your arms around the lotus position around your padmasana padmasana legs then slowly support your back lower down gently and prepare for matsyasana hook the big toes with the first two fingers elbows down lift your chest up and stay there in fish pose matsyasana slowly release extend the legs straight now take the right leg up into chair position and twist take the right foot over the left thigh look over the right shoulder to release any tension in the lower back bring the right leg back raise the left leg up bend the left knee bring the left foot over the right thigh look over the left shoulder chair twist supta padangushtasana take the right leg up hook the big toe with the first two fingers and the thumb keep the left leg straight place the left hand on the left thigh and keep the right knee straight breathe so we would ideally want the right shoulder to be down all the way even for me the shoulder is not down all the way we would want the right shoulder all the way down on the mat and uh, the leg towards us then swing the right leg to the right and look over the left shoulder inhale come back up and exhale release now take the left leg up hook the big toes with the first two fingers and the thumb right hand on the right thigh supta padangushtasana on the left side deep even breathing
Swing the left leg to the left, drawing the left foot towards your face and look over the right shoulder. Then raise the leg back up and exhale release. Hug both the knees into the chest, rock forward. Get ready for Kurmasan. Sorry, uh, bring the soles of your feet together. Not Kurmasan, we are going to take uh, Badakon to Ubhaya Padangushtasana. So come into Badakon Asana, hook the big toes with the first two fingers and the thumb, then straighten the legs up and look towards the toes ubhaya padangushtasana see if you can maintain your balance the chest goes towards the thighs don't round your back otherwise you will fall stay there and return to badakonasana soles of the feet together urdhvamukh paschimottanasana now take the feet together hold the sides outside of the feet and then raise both the legs up. Try to keep your knees as straight as you can. Take your face towards your knees and stay in that balanced position. Urdhva Mukh Paschimottanasana, looking towards your feet. Breathe. Don't round the back too much or you'll fall. And return to Badakonasana, soles of the feet together. Now, from here, inhale, straighten the legs. And then inhale, raise your arms up and exhale, fold, come into Paschimottanasana. You can bind your hands around your feet, hold the sides of your feet, work the elbows towards the floor, lower the head down, breathe. Now inhale, extend the arms up, raise them up all the way up, exhale, lower the hands down. Now for Kurmasan, tortoise pose. So bend the knees, feet slightly apart. Then inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Take your shoulders under your knees. Try to keep the knees on top of your shoulders. Then extend the arms out and place the palms down. Slowly extend the legs forward. So push your heels forward and lower down as much as you can. Chin down if you can. Stay there. Breathe. And slowly release. Inhale, come up. And we'll try Supta Kurmasana. So take the left leg behind the head, then lower down, and then cross the right ankle on top of the left ankle. So both the ankles are crossed on top of the head, and take your arms back. See if you can come into a bind. I need assist in this bind, but if you can, come into a bind and stay there. release uncross and come up now from here lie down feet together prepare for ek pada shirshasana so raise the raise left the leg up. right leg up and bring the right foot towards your face even that is enough just try to keep the right foot towards your face and lift the right uh, then if if you can raise your head up and take the right leg behind the head. Hands in a namaste, left leg straight. Just stay there. Ek Pada Shirshasana. Just a few breaths, then slowly release. Now take the left leg up into that Kapotasana position. You can draw the left foot towards the face and simply be there. Or if you're comfortable, you can take the left leg, left ankle under the head. Try to wriggle the knee as uh, as much as you can under the shoulder that helps then take your hands in a namaste and stay there just a few breaths and slowly release now for yoga nidrasana where both the legs go behind the head so bend the knees then take the left ankle behind the head right ankle crosses over 
you can cross the ankles under the head and then place the hands down or you can take your hands in a namaste yoga nidra asana slowly release just lie down take a moment then rock forward come up into chaturanga up dog down dog Place your, your feet, feet on forward. the outside of your hands and prepare for titi basana so feet around your hands okay and then you've got to wriggle your knees on top of your upper arms and slowly first raise one leg up then raise the other leg up point your toes forward keep your chin up like we do in crow pose and see if you can explore titi basana then exhale slowly hands down cross your legs just take a moment simply sit from here lean forward come down on hands and knees and then take your arms to the take the thumbs to the sacrum coming into kneel down position prepare for camel pose so right arm up right hand to the right heel left arm up left hand to the left heel push the pelvis forward lift the towards chest towards the, the navel don't drop the neck back lengthen the back of your neck and slowly lower down stay there in camel ushtrasana slowly release take child pose Take your feet to one side. Slowly extend the legs forward. Lie down and get ready for Urdhva Dhanurasana. Bend the knees. Middle finger touches the heel. Feet hip distance apart. Interlace the fingers under. Top of the hands towards the shoulder and come up into Urdhva Dhanurasana. Top of the head down and you push up. Huh? Stay there. Explore a variation in Urdhva Dhanurasana. Straighten your knees. Walk your feet forward, both feet together, taking the chest to the back wall. See if you can explore that position. Explore that variation in Urdhva Dhanurasana. And then slowly lower down. from here we'll take uh, viparit dandasan so come up into urdhva dhanurasana interlace the fingers top of the fingers towards the shoulders top of the head down and from top of the head down interlace your fingers behind your head and straighten the legs as much as you can the chest is going to the back wall see if you can explore this position if you're not comfortable then work work with a teacher to guide you and slowly release the hands and lower down take your arms by your side take a double double leg chair twist so bend both knees and take both the uh, knees to your left for just for a moment 
then come up and take both the legs to your right look over the left shoulder double leg chair twist and slowly return to center straighten the legs take a single legged chair twist so bend the right knee into chair position take it over the left thigh stay there then the left leg into return then take the left leg into single legged chair twist take it over the right thigh and then slowly release and inhale come up and straighten the legs and gently lean forward raise your arms up and exhale lean forward a little bit just as a counter pose From here, let's take Matsyendrasana. Right foot over the left thigh, left heel by the right hip. Hug the knee into the chest, spine tall. Inhale, left arm up, left hand to the left shoulder, left upper arm over the right thigh. Right hand behind. Take the left side of the chest forward, right side of the chest back. Left hand to the left knee. You can stay there if you are comfortable. Take the left arm around, bind behind, right arm back. Bind both the hands behind your back. Keep your spine as straight as you can. And look over the right shoulder. Breathe. and leg straight now take the left foot over the right thigh right heel to the left hip hug the left knee to the chest and right arm up right hand to the right shoulder right upper arm over the left thigh and take the right hand to the right knee if you are comfortable then the right arm extends arm face in the back wall wrap around left arm extends and then come into a bind keep your spine as straight as you can look over the left shoulder Padmasana. And then hands by your side. Lean forward and lift yourself up. Come into Uttapruti. Just stay there. Slowly release. Place your hands on your knees. Palms facing up. You can use your mudra if you want. Just stay there for a few deep breaths. Eyes closed. Settle down into Shavasana. Hands by your side, legs straight, and just lie down and just simply rest. Be in awareness of the rising and falling of your breath.
your feet together, bring your arms by your side, bend the left knee, roll over to your right, lie down on the right side for a moment, press the left hand down and slowly come up into seated. So you can take Adsadasana and uh, you can now do Isha Kriya if you are, uh, if you have received that practice or you can simply take the Tanuvan practice. You can set a timer for 11 minutes and uh, sit down at Siddhasana or a simple cross-legged position, hands on your knees, palms facing up. Now, don't do any deliberate breathing. The breath comes in on its own, goes out on its own. You simply witness this phenomenon. As the breath comes in and it goes out, give it a count one. Coming in, going out, give it a count two. If there's a pause between an inhalation, exhalation, let it move whichever way it is moving. Let it move naturally. Don't try to breathe. Don't try to do deep breathing. Just simply let the breath enter and exit the system as it is doing naturally. You simply observe this phenomenon. Count your breaths in cycles of 10. Coming in, going out is 1. Coming in, going out is 2. Go up to 10 and then repeat the cycle again. Do this for about 11 minutes. You can set the timer. And then you can close your practice. Thank you.